Give it up for the one and only Key Terry! Anybody ever been up the mountains in Colorado? Okay, you know the higher you get up the mountains, like the less exits there are? Okay. I was running late to a gig, you dig? And I had been getting a refill in this 24 ounce cup of Mountain Dew. By the time I got to the top of the mountain, I had to pee real bad. But there weren't any exits. And I didn't want to pee off the side of the mountain because Kansas is down there. And I didn't want to pee on none of them. So I figured I'd just pee in the cup, you did. I had a 24 ounce cup and 80,000 gallons of Mountain Dew on the inside. So I ran out of space when I was peeing, so I had to clamp it off, roll down the window, and throw it out. My back window was down, so it came. It came right back in. I started laughing and let go and started peeing over the front of the car. Needless to say, it was a pissy situation. <laughs> and what about this retarded freaking senator, the dude that said that he ain't gay. I know you've been watching the news, you can't help it. He's either him or Michael Vick. You take your pick. I'm black, so I picked the white dude. <laughs> what about this retarded ass senator say he ain't gay? I done been to that airport in Minnesota. The daggum bathroom stalls, honestly, are about that big. He said he accidentally touched his foot and hand to the person in the next stall. He's gay. Ain't a man in here that's straight ever that looked on the floor and said, I want to pick that up. Do you know what it look? His feet literally would have to be like this in order for him to touch the other man. You can't squeeze shit out when you like this. All I'm saying is he's gay, admit it, you happy. <laughs> I got a question for him though, because I know he's gay. And I got a question for all gay men in America. Like, I don't have, like, <laughs> I don't have anything against gay people. Like, I'm behind them in a roundabout way. <laughs> Not around the butt, around about. Like, get that O in there for sure. I've always wanted to ask two gay dudes this. Like, when women don't want to have sex, they can say, I'm on my period. Like, men can't use that excuse. What do they say? I got diarrhea. I'm just wondering, an irregular flow day or something? Think about it. Everybody worried about Korea having nuclear capability? Korea having nuclear capability? I'm not worried about Korea having nuclear capability because I found out that Korea makes Hyundais and Kias. <laughs> Any country that makes Hyundais and Kias, I'm not worried about them having nuclear capability because I'm sure it'll break down halfway here. <laughs> and everybody not laughing driving one tonight. <laughs> Like, honestly, man, like, I, I started out talking about stuff. Like, really, fix your interstates. <laughs> like, at least fix one lane or something, you know? <laughs> and then you got the nerve to raise the toll. I'm like, kiss my ass. I paid $100 to get it lost. <laughs> Y'all treat your roles at the U-turns like damn Tokyo Drift. Like, <laughs> it's a dark Mexican. Y'all got the Great Wall of China going straight down the middle of the damn interstate. You got white lines, yellow lines, faded yellow lines where the interstate used to go going straight into the wall. <laughs> I was in my car doing an electric slide trying to get downtown. <laughs> Look at all the people not laughing. They the ones that be messing it up in the club. Which way? Boo 
Scoot Scoot Boogie. And I know better than hang out with some of you rednecks from Tumball, and I know it's some of y'all in there. Hey, cause the last time I came, man, some daggone rednecks were like, I wanna take you snipe hunting. <laughs> what the hell I'm doing at 11.30 at night with a daggum bag and a damn stick talking about hooty hoo, hooty hoo. <laughs> and then at that point, I was like, that's how they got black people to America, man. Like, you gotta entice them with chicken. <laughs> and I noticed y'all got the state trooper here on the gas pump trying to keep you from stealing gas. Hey, does he not look gay as hell? I was getting gas and I swear I heard a voice saying, I see you with that nozzle. And couldn't you picture him in a hot pink and white state trooper vehicle? Whee! Pull over, pull over. Have a little bumper sticker on the back, say, steal that gas, that's your ass. <laughs> Man, I, dude, that y'all drink. Last time I came here, they got me drunk as hell. I was taking shots and shots and shots of Jaeger. <laughs> see, that's some bull crap. You see, when I drink Jaeger, it's like a black on black crime. It tastes like church candy when it hits your tongue, but when it get in your throat, it's like the devil. I'm gonna mess up the rest of your night. <laughs> I got so drunk one time, I was drunk collect calling people. <laughs> you know how I say it, say your name at the beep? I was like, I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> and two people accepted. <laughs> I just found out that Lance Armstrong was engaged to Sheryl Crow, but she broke it off. It makes sense. If I was a woman, the last man I would want to be engaged to is the man with the most endurance in the world. You imagine being engaged to the seven-time Tour de France winner Lance Armstrong? You five days into sex? Come on now, Lance, this is some bull crap. <laughs> this is not tour the ass. You're not gonna win a trophy for this, and I'm tired of that one ball hitting me in my left thigh. <laughs> Give me some steroids. <laughs> and you know what, they got the nerve to take steroids out of professional wrestling. I think that's funny as hell. That's like taking pumps out of stripping. <laughs> you imagine going to the strip club and seeing somebody in some hush puppies, give it up. <laughs> that's all I'm saying, you dig. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess at this point in time, I need to thank the, the four black people that came out to the show tonight. <laughs> If I can ever come back again, let's have something like bring a black friend night. <laughs> if you don't know one, go bail you one out. <laughs> Everybody needs help. <laughs> and I know there's black people in Houston because I rode the Greyhound bus here one time. <laughs> Everybody laughing, been downtown. <laughs> it's like a crackhead zoo. I saw a crackhead steal his own shoes and take off running down the damn street. <laughs> you know how to confuse a crackhead? Put a sign in front of him that says, Fallen Rocks. <laughs> I love me some commercials, man. Like, some of my favorite commercials are like the tampon commercial, the one with the man and the woman in the boat, and there's a hole in the, up, in the bottom, and she takes the tampon like a little Miss McGavarette and plugs in the hole. 
Every man in here thought the same thing I thought when they saw that commercial for the first time. He ain't getting nothing tonight. <laughs> and the next time you see that commercial, pay attention. She got a Sam's Club pallet size box of tampon. I don't want a woman to bleed like that. <laughs> if she drops that box in the water, you're not gonna need the boat. You're gonna be able to walk back because she's gonna soak up every daggum thing in the lake. Shutting down Labor Day, leave the C-Doo at home, man. <laughs> and I love the My Dog commercial, the one with the two women on the beach, and the one woman's in the ocean swimming, and she comes out of the ocean from swimming, and she's like, hey, girls, I'm on my period, but I took me and my dog, everything okay. I'm thinking, shouldn't you be worried about the sharks in the water? <laughs> It's science. You leaving a trail straight to your tail. It is Labor Day weekend. I'm trying to save some of y'all. I'm like, oh, I was going to go swimming. I have, I've never said this on stage. Um, my, uh, my biological father, I hadn't seen him in like 15, 16 years. And I found out he lives here in Houston. Like, he's been living here for like 15, 16 years. And this past year, I had a layover. And someone's like, give him a call. And he showed up to the airport. And there was nothing more entertaining in my life than sitting at the airport and looking at every black man over 50 talking about, is that my daddy? Is that my daddy? Is that my daddy right now? But I found him, man. And it was just like, cool, man. And y'all, yeah, yeah, you know? And I. I kind of slowed the show down a little bit and I'm having a good time and I, I, I cut up up here. Uh, I just like passing on something to people from the bottom of my heart. Like, you've been taught to judge people one way or see people one way. If you take anything from my show, take this. Judge people from your heart and you'll never be wrong and you'll have them forever and ever and ever and ever. And I got this, y'all got the most like cross over rednecks I've ever, confused rednecks I've ever seen in my life. They, the rednecks here watch BET. I saw a redneck driving a big Dodge Ram 200 million 1050 pickup truck, put a whole state of Texas on the back of it, big ass rebel flag and spinning rims. That don't make no sense. That's like the Klan having fubu sheets. <laughs> it's important to have black people everywhere you go because without us you wouldn't have any dances we invented all the dances we invented square dancing in the cotton fields picking cotton it was hot as hell then you all square dance thank you y'all how do you call this how do you know three hands up and round you go thank you y'all thank you y'all thank you y'all thank you y'all Y'all got too excited, you like spin that nigga around and around. <laughs> Y'all familiar with techno dancing, all the fast hand movements and the funky beat? Black people in Venada in Africa. It was the swatting tribe, I saw it on the Discovery Channel. We were just walking through the jungle. Minding our own business, everything swinging. Just walking, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, flies. Flies. 